Hello, Plant Palan here, affiliate starting line. Welcome. This is a continuation of the WordPress series. This is going to be part, I think, 14. And this one's going to be about a backup plugin. You should always back up your blogs, your websites, all the databases that you use that are important to you. So, how do you do that? In this case, we're going to come into WP Trainer. And we're going to go to Plugins in the left hand sidebar. And then we're going to go come up here to Add New. And then we're going to type in WP Backup. Now there's WDB Manager, and here it is. W PDB Backup. That's the one um, I'm going to pick for this lesson. That's the one I use. So as you know, for the plugins, as we've seen in other lessons, you come down here, click Install Now. We'll click OK. We're going to activate the plugin. And we're going to come down here in the plugins and find it. There it is, WP Database Backup. It's going to say On Demand. It's On Demand Backup of your WordPress, so you decide when you want to do it. And you find it by going to the Tools menu. In your left-hand sidebar here, there's Tools. It's telling you. You go in here, and you'll see Backup. So you can click on that. And then it'll come in here, and it gives you options. Which tables it's going to back up in your database. It's going to automatically back up everything here. I always add these. I want everything backed up. These are comments and contact form information. It gives you the uh, backup options. You can back up now. You can back it up to a server, and it'll go into this database. It'll, you can back it up to your computer. You can back it up to, you, to your email. I would uh, recommend going to your database at your host website, at your host site, because in my case, I've had to use uh, the database backup because people have gone in and done nasty things, or it just, uh, it just crashed. And uh, my host, HostGator, will reload the backup and get me up and running again at no cost if my backup file is on a file with, is in a folder inside uh, my account. If I have to ship it to them by email, etc., they charge me 15 bucks. Either way, uh, you want a backup. You can schedule backups. I usually schedule once a week. Uh, I clicked here to schedule, and then July 31st, it's going to give me an automatic backup. Tables to include, I'm going to include these. And really, we're good to go. And that's it. That's all there is to it. If you really want it to back up now, I would click Save to the Server, send it to this file in my host server, and it's going to, as you can see here, in real time, back up my, fi my uh, database files. And there it is. This is a very short time to do it because there's not much on this website. But now I have backed it up right here to this file. And if I go to my hosting account, go into File Manager, go down here and find uh, the folder, go into Web Content, and here it is in the backup. I just backed it up. I backed it up uh, yesterday, and I just backed it up again today. So that's how you back up your website. And you want to be able to do that. Just to recap, we went into Plugins. We went up here to Add New. We typed in WP Backup. And we selected WDB Backup. Once it was in, we went down to Tools, checked it out, added the files we wanted to make sure to get. We scheduled once weekly. It's going to automatically back up July 31st. And we're good to go. So that's it. That's how you set up a backup for your WordPress website. This is Claude Pallon on Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it. Stay well. We'll talk to you soon.